okay welcome back uh this is we stopped at um our header where we have our divider that we gave it a class name of container so inside this divider that has a class name of container we have our logo okay i did not put my logo there before so i've put it now i don't think this is strange to anyone so this is the name i saved my logo with this one my logo dot png then i try to correct the height because it, it was actually too high then so i had the image as my logo you can do that on your own i don't think that's going to give us a problem so now this is for index.html and then we all know that what we have on that index like for every website let me open my website quickly okay for every website like this one now we have um logo so we have logo i put that there then we have the menu so whether i'm under home or i'm under about me or i'm under courses services and all of that i still have this menu and logo repeating themselves and they are inside the header are you getting it now so it is this that we call header and what comes below is what we call footer so it is the header so far we have almost the same thing throughout the header so i mean header of all pages so i'm going to be copying okay before i do that let's do what we have on the index of html okay this is what we have then uh come back here we want to have the same thing services.html we don't have much there about.html we don't have much there now we want to have everything we have under this header we want to copy the whole of this header and place it just to save our time on that body on that services so let me paste it now let's view it okay uh about dot html okay so let's view it okay so now we have our logo and then our our what is it called uh menu okay so having done that but there's going to be a little addition so let's come back to our index.html so that we can let's look out for where we're going to make the correction look at the html under index now our current page the current page that we have now is carrying under the list it is carrying this id i mean the class name of correct it is carrying the id a uh, class name rather of current so we want the same to repeat itself throughout so it's not go on this is index under services.html it shouldn't be index that will be carrying the current now so it should be services so let me cut it out and then i will come back i'll come to where we have services in that inside this uh list the first tag of list that that has the services okay can you see it now so all these are not actually going to have effects when you are viewing it here because we have not started styling it so what we want to style now we are going to be styling uh, a class name that uh, a class name that is current and that will have effect on everything that has current every class name that has current so under index.html it is index that will be affected okay let me show you a sample of what i actually want to achieve by doing this
is my wife. Uh, you realize that when I'm on the uh, home page, this is the home page now. This home, this is my index page. Index does section me that we are doing there. Under this home now, this one is having a separate color. A color that is different from others. When I come on that about me, so about me will now be carrying a separate color. When I come on that course, it's the same thing like that. So let's go here. So that is the kind of thing we can achieve with this current of the thing. So index home home is what's supposed to be in current now under index dot statement. So under services dot statement is the services that will be carrying the class name current. Fine. Then under about dot html, it is about that's supposed to be carrying this class name of current. Let's cut it out and come to about and paste it there. Okay, so we have achieved this now. Please make sure uh, you do it very well and be careful with it so that you won't have unnecessary challenges when we start styling. Alright, see you in the next class. Bye.